Hello everyone! Every tier of refined resources can be replaced with the same tier or higher resources to increase the final gear score range. For example, iron ingots can be replaced by Phi iron and steel ingots with void metal as primary crafted resource. And the highest tier resources like oricalcum, infused silk and infused leather can be replaced by legendary resources that will increase the overall gear score significantly. But what is even more important, those legendary drops don't require any refining, thus players only need tier 5 crafting station and don't have to look for tier 5 smelter, tannery, loom or wood shop. Pretty nice. There are two types of legendary resources, two are direct drops from gathering and one is refined from those two legendary drops into another legendary resource that provides an even higher gear score increase. But for that you will have to use a proper tier 5 refinery station. Those legendary drops are random rare drops from the top ores, trees, fibers and level 50 plus animals. But the higher level the beast, the better chance. So to get cinnabar or tolvium, which are ores, you need to mine oricalcum. To get smaller hide or scar hide leather, skin level 50 plus animals. For better results I would advise skinning level 52 plus elite animals. Legendary cloth drops you can harvest from wire fibers and legendary wood from iron wood. The other type of legendary resource is for example a runic leather that you can refine at tier 5 tannery by combining scar hide, smolder hide, infused leather and aged tannin. You can see all recipes at the proper refining station. From my own experience skinning elite level 52 plus animals have a solid chance of dropping scar hide or smolder hide leathers. But only if you have a full set of skinner's luck equipment. 5 armor pieces, 1 jewelry piece, an amulet, skinning knife with skinner's luck, a few skinning gathering trophies in your houses and use a skinning luck food. Blister weave and scale cloth that you can get as a rare drop from wire fibers also have a solid drop chance, while getting tolvium and cinnabar from oricalcum ore is quite challenging. I didn't try chopping ironwood, so can't comment on how easy or hard it is to get wildwood and barbed vine. Just make sure that you have as much miners, skinners, harvesters or loggers luck on you as possible for the best result. That is all about legendary crafting resource drops in a nutshell. Thanks for watching and see you in Eternum.